Sometimes it can be kind of hard to try to decide, you know, which fragrances should I wear if I really want to stand out, if I really want to get noticed. Especially in a scene where there's going to be a lot of people around. There's going to be a lot of different smells and a lot of, you know, distractions and people running everywhere. You want to pick a fragrance that's really going to cut through everything and that's really going to set you apart from everyone else. Because again, if a lot of people are at a party, chances are they're going to be wanting to do the same thing and they're going to be wearing a fragrance as well. What you have to make sure though and what the key is, is that you choose a fragrance that is different. And on top of that, you want to choose a fragrance that's going to project out, that's going to make itself known so that these people around you can actually smell you and so that you can compete with all of the other fragrances and smells that are kind of floating around everywhere. And since it is that time of the year, I'm coming in clutch with a video just for you guys. Today I'm going to be going over the 10 New Year's party fragrances or the top 10. So this is going to be an actual list. I'm going to give you what I think are going to be the best ones for this environment. So maybe you're a single guy, you want to get a New Year's kiss or go to a party and do whatever it is you want to do. These are the fragrances that you're going to want to consider before you go. So a couple things before you jump into the video. First things first, let me know down in the comments, which fragrances would you personally choose for this video? If you were a fragrance reviewer, if you were making this video, which one did you put in it from your personal collection? The second thing is, if you're new here to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Also turn on post notifications and give this video a like. Now we've got that out of the way, let's go and jump into this. We're going to start off with number 10 and this one, this one's going to be a little bit more on the expensive side and along with that, a little bit more daring. So that's why it is going to be at number 10, not that it's a bad fragrance or that it's worse than any of these other ones. It's just, again, a little bit more expensive, a little bit more daring, not going to be for everyone. Number 10, Tobacco Oud by Tom Ford. So 50 ml bottle is going to be running you probably around the 150 or so dollar range is kind of the typical average price for these 50 ml private blends. Um, all these fragrances are going to be linked down below to the best prices around so make sure you go check that out if you're interested in any of these scents. I'll have you covered down below. Number 10 though, again, a little bit more expensive and along with that price is a fragrance that's a little bit more hard to pull off. It's it, it's, it takes some experience in my personal opinion anyway. This is not for a new collector. This is not for someone that is just beginning with fragrances. You know, this is one where you want to have a little bit of experience behind the belt, right? You want to kind of know what you're doing. You want to know how to carry yourself when you're wearing this fragrance. You want to know how to dress it properly. So this not going to be for everyone, but I can tell you if you really, really want to stand out and you want to go for something that's 100% daring to the point where you don't know if everyone around you is going to like this fragrance or not, Tobacco Oud is 100% the way to go. It's a great scent. It's a Tom Ford fragrance, so it has that Tom Ford quality. It has the Tom Ford name, so if people are asking you like, hey, what are you wearing right now, right? You tell them it's a Tom Ford fragrance, that's automatically gonna get you points. They're gonna think that's pretty cool. So that is number 10. Really, really nice pick if you really wanna stand out and be daring and pretty much guarantee that no one else is gonna be wearing this around you. Coming in at number nine, we have Chanel Allure Homme Sport Eau Extreme. So this one right here, this one is hard, hard to beat. Number nine, just because, again, it's a little bit more on the pricey side. As we progress throughout this list, we're going to get a little bit cheaper and a little bit cheaper. But I do want to get and give you guys some more expensive higher-end options just for the people who want to go that way. If you don't have quite as much money to spend, make sure you stay tuned towards the end as we do work into some really affordable options. But Allure Home Sport Extreme, popular. It's, it's a classic scent. It's, you know, one of the most popular and kind of most talked about Chanel fragrances for men alongside, of course, Blue de Chanel and all of the different versions of it. This one's probably number two in terms of like the hype and everything. So really hard to go wrong with this one here. Perfect for that type of environment. Crazy projection. It's just a mass pleasing scent. Number eight, we have Dior Homme Intense. So this one right here is another one where if you want to stand out and you want to basically guarantee that no one else around you is going to be wearing the same thing as you, you got to go this route right here. This is one of my personal favorite designer scents and I've talked about it a lot here on the channel. It's sweet, it's powdery, it's high quality, it smells like luxury. This one right here 100% is going to be turning heads. So. That's a really, really great option to go with here for this type of situation. If you're after that sort of thing, again, something that's gonna be more polarizing and a lot more different and kind of takes, you know, the right type of mindset to pull it off, definitely check this one out. Durham Intense at number eight. 
This one's fantastic and, in my opinion, a must-have. Moving into number seven, we have a very, very affordable option here. This one is Bentley for Men and Tents. So I can tell you from first-hand experience, the quality and just the scent itself of this fragrance is to die for. I mean, if you haven't tried this fragrance yet, pause the video and buy it. Seriously, it's going to be linked down below. You got to check this one out. You really do. It's just that good. And I've said it before, next time you're making your cart on FragranceNet or whatever, throw this one in there with it. It's an extra 30 bucks or so, but you're not going to regret it. I can almost guarantee it. Of course, if you're into this type of fragrance, if you like sweet, boozy, masculine fragrances, you're going to love this one. If you like fresh aquatic scents, and that's it. This may not be the best option, but again, there's not going to be any fragrances like that in this video. We're going for heavy hitters here. And this one is 100% a heavy hitter, hitter coming in, again, at around the $30 range. So it's very affordable, very, very strong performance. So you don't have to worry about that there at all. When you're applying this one in this type of situation, like a party, maybe three, four sprays is really all you're going to need for anything else, at, you know, every day-to-day -day use. Two sprays is probably going to be all you need. I mean, even just taking the cap off of this one, I can just smell it already just projecting through the air. So this one is really, really solid at number seven. Really great affordable one for this video. And that leads me to another affordable fragrance, John Varvatos Dark Rebel Rider at number six. So this one is coming in right around the same price. It might be a little bit cheaper depending on if you get a tester or if you get you know full presentation. It's gonna be roughly around $30, maybe 35, maybe you know 25 or so, kind of you know, somewhere around in that area. So another really affordable one, but the quality that you get from this fragrance for only like $30 is incredible. And I don't know how they quite do it, but they pull it off amazingly. The scent itself smells great. The bottle is really, really nice. The one downside to this fragrance is going to be the performance. And you're probably like, why are you even including this in this video if it's not a good performer? And the thing with it is, is you can get this fragrance to project if you go with a few extra sprays. Depending on how long you're going to be there, you're not going to need a fragrance that's going to be lasting for eight or nine hours for like a New Year's Eve party unless you're going super, super hard. But I would say for most instances, you hit yourself with a few extra sprays and you're going to be projecting for, you know, quite a few hours, two, three, four hours, which is going to give you really good performance. And again, if that's a downbreaker to you, then you can go and choose one of the other ones in this list. The Bentley that I just mentioned, even better performance than this one, but this is still a great option that I really wanted to include in here in the video because it is a fantastic one. It's unique, it's a head turner, it's high quality, and it's a great fragrance. Coming in at number five, we have another unique scent, and this one isn't talked about all too much, though I've been mentioning it here lately. This one is Isimiyaki Nui Dese Noir Argent. I can never quite get the name right. I always had to look at the bottle, but this is it right here at number five. This one is incredible. I love this fragrance. It's a newer discovery for me, and it's one that isn't talked about that much. If you look on Fragrantica, at the time of me doing this video, not many reviews on it, which you know typically is kind of out of the norm because these Isimiyaki fragrances, a lot of people tend to really pick them up and they get reviewed a lot and talked about a lot. This is kind of one of those hidden gems. It's kind of a diamond in the rough. A lot of them do tend to get overlooked just because they do kind of smell the same in some instance at least when you're talking about their summer fragrances, but this one right here is incredible. It's unique, it's different, it's got great, great performance. And this is one where, again, if you wanna stand out, it's 100% gonna do it for you. I just wanna spray it on so bad right now just because it smells so good. This stuff is, this one's incredible. Highly recommend you check this one out if you want something different, something, just kind of a breath of fresh air in terms of you know the types of scents that's been being released lately. This one is incredible. Nuit de Say, Noir, Argent. This one is awesome. Number four, we have Halloween Man X. So this one's a surprise for me just because I wasn't expecting to like this one as much as I do and I wasn't expecting it to make it in this many videos, but I've really been enjoying this one a lot. This one's got coffee. It's got like, I believe some tonka bean and some other sweet heavy notes. It smells great. And that coffee really comes in after you work into the mid and dry down. Up top in the opening, you don't get too much of it. So if you're coming here for the coffee from this fragrance, you gotta just wait. You gotta be patient with it. And as it develops on your skin, it will start to come to the surface. But this one's fantastic. This one is gonna be perfect for this type of setting because it is sweet. 
It's got mass appeal to it, and it does kind of have a young, loud type of quality to it, which is really what you're looking for. So number four, Halloween Man X, and of course, very affordable as well. I think you're going to be looking at around $25, $30, $35 maybe. So really, really competitive price point here, and you get a lot of bang for your buck. Coming in at number three, we've got an Armani fragrance here. And I'm sure in your head you're thinking of what this one's going to be. And you'd be right. It is Armani Code Profumo. So yes, I know. It's this one again. Been talking about it a lot, but it's because I love the scent. I really do. had a lot of people ask me about this fragrance a lot back before I had it. And I would always just kind of put off picking up a bottle up until recently. And I've been very, very glad that I have it with me. This one, it smells great. It's really hard to beat. It's got this like soda like root beer type of smell in the opening kind of like fizzy if that makes sense um, and it's just very very sweet and warm and again it's got a loud young playful quality to it which is going to be perfect for this type of setting number three spot here highly highly deserving great performance this one's hard to beat coming in number two we have ultra male so this one this one is had to be on this list 100 percent. i couldn't put this video together without including Ultra Male at some point. I, I just couldn't do it. This one, very, very nice and really has a uniqueness to it that you may kind of laugh at if anyone who, you know, isn't into these sweet fragrances is probably gonna be like, oh, it's not unique, it's generic and blah, blah, blah. But for me personally, it really does have something different about it with that pear vanilla combination with the lavender and everything like that. It is something that to me is a little bit different and I do really like it. Dry down of this one is where it's at. I mean, the opening is great too from that pear note, but it really settles down and turns into something really warm and delicious and honestly smells great. This is another one where if you don't own it, highly recommend you pick up a bottle. It's just that good. Ultra male at number two, perfect for this situation. And finally at number one, a fragrance that has really, really impressed me. And the original version of this one really did not impress me. So I'm really glad that they kind of improved this DNA with this new flanker. This one is Paco Rabanne Pure Excess Night. So yeah, the original one I liked, but it just didn't blow me away. This one really kind of fills in the cracks and kind of refines that DNA and turns it into something that's really worth picking up and really is different. It's kind of unique in its own specific way, which I really do enjoy. This one's warm, sweet, spicy. This one is really, really nice. I mean, for the price that you pay, you're getting a pretty good quality scent. It is a little bit more expensive right now just because it is new. Prices are gonna work their way down as it's been out longer. I believe you're looking at like around the mid 70s right now, but in a few months, it's probably gonna be down into the 50s around there. So I would say for 100 mil, great, great fragrance here. Highly improved over the original and perfect for any sort of party New Year's setting right here. That's my number one, Pure Excess Night. This one is really, really nice, great performance, much better than the original, so I do recommend you check this one out. So guys, that was it for me. That were my top 10 New Year's party fragrances. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below in the comments which fragrances you would choose for this list, for this video, and that's gonna do it for me. One more quick thing I wanna talk about is we now have channel membership. So you may notice next to the subscribe button, there's a button that says join. You can click on that and see all the different tiers. Basically the first one, it's only $1.99 a month. On top of that, in that tier, you get access to early videos. So I'll release, release videos you know, sometimes a day or two in advance, just kind of depending on the schedule. Second tier is for $4.99 a month, and that's for one to two live streams a month. So you can go in there, go live with me, ask me questions and stuff, and you also get access to the previous perks. And then the final one, $9.99 a month, you get to access me directly. So if you have any questions for me, you can email me, DM me, Facebook message me, and I can talk to you and give you advice directly. So if you do want to support me there, go check out channel memberships. I think it'll be a really fun way to get to know you guys on a more personal level because I know I do get a lot of questions and I know people do want me to bring back the live streams. It's just hard for me to do it this time just because of all the videos I'm uploading here. I'm uploading six videos a week, which would mean that I would have to do the live stream on the day that I don't upload for it to kind of fit in with my regular upload schedule. So it's already very busy for me now, especially with running fragrance match and my website and everything. So kind of bringing them back that way would be tough. So if you do want to be a part of live streams again, make sure you go join that second tier, only $4.99 a month. You'll be supporting me and the channel directly and you'll get to connect with me in a live video. That's going to do it for me, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.